you know there are people that are watching this recording and when Tony called me T.Y. when she called me the first message God gave me was the law of beginnings some of you have ideas but you will not act on those ideas and you're expecting God to do something whereas he's waiting on you to do something You've been trying to start, you've never started. You are looking for capital, you are looking for this, you are looking for that, you are waiting for perfect conditions. And you are not going to get things done in perfect conditions. God wants you to show faithfulness and commitment to the idea that is given you, and when you do that, then he moves. That is the way it works. But you are waiting and waiting and waiting, and the window of opportunity is closing. Do something now. What God expects you to do is to do everything that you can do. Then when you come to an end of yourself, then it begins at the beginning of himself. That is a message I was told to give from home. But let's go to law number three. The second law of worship. You see, the God you know is the God you worship. And there are two dimensions of God in this place tonight. The first is that God is sovereign authority. The second is that God is a compassionate God. In his capacity as sovereign authority, he is defined entirely by power. And you can cross-reference Egypt. He decapitated this monarchy. He annihilated the economy. The economy. He destroyed the army. And then just for sure, just for sure, he obtained the laws of nature and parted the Red Sea, telling you that it doesn't matter what it is. There's nothing that is impossible for God because the one who made the law is the one who obtains the law. It doesn't matter what people have told you. They've told you you can never have a child. You won't be sealed. This is happening. That is happening. Don't listen to that because nothing shall be impossible with God. His power is available here tonight. As a God of compassion, he is ever merciful. He forgives us. You've got to forgive yourself and move on. He is forgiving you. It does not exist. But you are holding on to it in your memory because you think that God is man. And God is not man. Our sins are taken care of. The Lord is our shepherd. We will not lack. In famine we shall be fed. When everybody is confessing lack and want, confess the word of God. Now you don't know how it works, it's not your business how it works, but you're soon going to learn that the Word of God is programming language. And that when He speaks, things begin to get done. Things begin to get programmed. And that's the way this thing works. So worship God, the God that you know tonight. The God of power, the God of compassion. I don't care what it is, hold on to that.
the all-powerful God will call me his friend, who said that he's my brother, oh, ah, the sovereign one, the Alpha, the Omega, the last word, the first word, he's God. Who is there like a God? Who is 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 like God is merciful, Lord. Give man authority and see what he does. Let the sovereign one is merciful and kind. Ah, Baba, me or me. The devil said, I get the most out of my lover. Oh, my God, my father. Oh, I need a man of sovereign God. is merciful. Do you not understand what this means?